Welcome. In this video, we'll be looking at how to properly install and weld an airway deflection sensor onto a steer axle. Before we begin, let's ensure we have these tools. C-clamps, tape measure, permanent marker, or chalk will do, enamel spray paint, a grinder, and a MIG or arc welder. Next, we're gonna to wanna to measure the center point of the steer axle and mark it. After that, we're gonna measure out three inches from each side of that center point and mark those points as well. Once you have that circumference marked, we're gonna to wanna to take our grinder and get rid of any enamel or paints on the axle so you get to bare metal. Now that we've grinded our steer axle to bare metal, we can take our deflection sensor bracket and place it directly over the center point you marked earlier. You want to check to see if you have light coming between the bottom of each end of the deflection sensor bracket. If you don't see light coming through, you're going to need to take off the bracket and grind down the casting seam of the axle further so the deflection sensor bracket sits flush against the top of the steer axle. Once the deflection sensor bracket sits flat against the top of the steer axle, we can use C-clamps, or a clamp of your choice, to secure the deflection sensor bracket directly over the center line prior to making our tack welds. Next, we're gonna apply our tack welds to all eight corners of the deflection sensor base, ensuring that our welds aren't connected in the middle space on the deflection sensor bracket. And always remember to follow regulated safety protocol in regards to welding. Once we have our deflection sensor bracket completely welded to the steer axle, we can place our deflection sensor into the bracket. Next, take your bolts and make sure that the bolt head fits snugly in the bolt head fitting. Next, we're gonna torque each bolt to 60 foot pounds. Later, we'll come back for a final torque of 120 foot pounds. Once we have our deflection sensor torqued to 60 foot pounds, we can go ahead and apply our enamel spray coating to any exposed metal to prevent corrosion. Once the paint's dried, we'll go ahead and put our casing over top of the deflection sensor, ensuring that the casing does not pinch the sensor cable. <clears throat> and use band clamps to secure the casing around the axle to protect the deflection sensor. Once that's done, you've now successfully installed and welded your deflection sensor to your steer axle. Congratulations. You can now load once, load legal, and go. Thank you for watching.